So crosstalk is a unwanted noise that you get from one transmission line due to um, another transmission line. So near end crosstalk is crosstalk from two terminals on the same side, while far end crosstalk is from two terminals that are across from each other. When you're sending high speed frequencies, stream of bits and zeros in your signal in your lane, uh, the signals and the electrons are gonna try to travel to the least path of resistance to the next adjacent lane. So what happens is gonna uh, couple that signal, therefore you're gonna have crosstalk. Crosstalk is uh, injected noise. So if I'm sitting here talking to you and somebody in the other room is having a conversation, the amount of conversation you hear on top of what I'm sending you is crosstalk. Of course, we try to bundle high-speed signals together versus low-speed signals. Many connectors, particularly these open pin fields, are being pin mapped such, you know, you can send a bunch of different types of signals in the connector, not only high speeds, right? So you don't want to uh, mix that, you know? You don't want to mix voltage levels. We can have unwanted signals showing up, um, for instance, due to ground bounce or from a power structure behaving or acting like the reference for high speed signals, the power structure introduces noise. We can call it crosstalk on the high speed signals. Of all of the crosstalk energy that is received on the receiver that is adjacent to a transmitter. Um, and that includes energy that gets crosstalked over to another line. It also includes crosstalk energy that goes forward and reflects back. So it's a summation of multiple different sources of crosstalk from multiple different directions. Reverse crosstalk is simply the energy between two traces that is crosstalked and propagates backwards towards the transmitter or towards the receivers on that side.